Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Trap jumping, got it, keep the trap jumping, got it, keep the trap jumping, got it, keep the trap jumping, keep the pack moving, keep the money coming, now it, keep them hoes on it, better go get you some money, cause you ain't seen nothing, yeah, we got the cool blues, but we still got green. He got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. No, I don't want to jump. Yes, you do. You smoke crack, don't you? You smoke crack, don't you? Look at me, boy. Don't you smoke crack. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Vodafly, tell your mama I said hi. If you like what's going on here, follow us on IG. You can also subscribe to our Patreon and stay in link and stay in tune with a lot of things that we got going on. Rookies. Rookies, rookies, rookies. Oh, man. I spent some time yesterday. Uh, when I got off, I was watching some of the battles, some of the replays of uh, Born Legacy 13. Yeah, y'all need to get in here. All y'all get in here right now. Get in here. We need to speak. Bring, bring P with y'all. Bring. Sir, I just want to say thank you. Everybody else that be booking y'all and everything else, bring them niggas in here. We need to speak. My shit is real. My shit is raw. My shit, My shit the name of you. Oh. This where the love stop. I really had a drug spot. Yeah, real crip. Colorado Rockies fitted on a blood block. On the top. Parallel universe. Well, let me get this right, fam. A white man's moving car makes you Hyundai, and now you selling Hyundai moving cars for the white man. More time, bullets from the nine to fly, cause himself in bias. You gonna stand in front of a line and die, cry for ground. Y'all got washed. All y'all niggas got washed. The whole, bro, how you book? I'ma walk it down. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna run. I ain't gonna run through. I ain't gonna run through. I ain't gonna, I, I, no, 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 no. Let's just let's let, let's take a step back, man. Cause I know they be like, why to be hating? Boo, 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 boo. I'm pulling up the card. Cause I want to pull up the card. Cause I want this fucking card so I can be able to talk to y'all the way I need to talk to y'all. I got the card right here. Uh, you had <laughs> you had Chilla Jones versus Klutz. Klutz is a rookie. Uh, Ease, authentic, Hansel. And Saflair Soul. You know what I'm saying? So we got how many rookies is on this motherfucker? One, two, three, four. We got five rookies on here. Out of five rookies, I think one won one round. I think one won a round. Which was Hansel versus O Red, but O Red voice is on FMLA. So I mean I mean he had a voice, but it was only for one round, but he be doing that shit where he be fucking uh he be still explaining he still boy, this nigga still explaining way, his bars. Jesus boy, fucking way, Christ. Boy. Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? No way, I grip the laser, hit the blazer, bullets hit the bottom and freeze the top. It's the refrigerator, cause you know when you reach down and you hit the top, it's a refrigerator, nigga. That shit's not gonna work in 2023. I keep telling y'all niggas that. Don't fucking listen to me. I'm cool. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too. I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. You niggas gonna be below the poverty line. Caffeine is the poverty line. If you niggas don't make it above the poverty line, because, you know, caffeine is where you get the big money, you get the big events, you get the yada, yada, yada. You niggas is going to be app niggas. That shit that... <laughs> anyway, so let me start, right? I really don't care how nobody feels, because this is my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Me and P had issues, our issues are dead, we squashed our shit, we got on the phone, we talked like men and shit like that. So this is not, I'm not going to tear him down, you know what I'm saying? That's not what it's for. Because I know he has a job to do. You know what I'm saying? Which is to recruit and find new talent where they build and develop. But I just feel like they're pushing these niggas too quick. They are pushing these niggas too quick. They don't have very, a lot of them don't have no viable wins. They're not beating people. They're going up there losing and y'all booking them two weeks later. Versus the next star, the next star. Chilla Jones said this shit, PSP, they can't win getting their hand held. It's the fucking truth. He made it so y'all can't fail. Wait, switch. Game Boy, oh, PSP, they not gonna learn with they handheld in hell. It's the fucking truth.
fucking truth. Y'all are holding their hands. I remember back in the days when I first came around, when I used to see these niggas and I used to uh, fuck with noobs and all of that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Go to the PGs, see new artists and shit like that, watch new talent. When I came around, you know what type of niggas was, 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 was out there? Huh? Cause y'all act like I just started doing this shit last year and I ain't, I've been here since 2016. We're actually heading on a decade of battle rap shit. Dog, Av came out. Like, Mike P came out, Jerry West came out, New Jersey Twerk came out. Like, I'm talking about they people that they knew that they could put in front of vets and stars and shit like that and was not getting their ass kicked like this. Period. Maybe y'all might need to slow. I think that these guys shouldn't battle but once every three months. These guys shouldn't battle, bare minimum. Once every three months. If somebody's really good, maybe twice every three months. But y'all book these niggas to battle every card. They be here today, they be on the next card. These niggas just battled on a two on two like fucking two weeks ago on No Man Pack. And you got them battling here. They not winning. They not. They not. They're <laughs> Lord have mercy. Dog, the whole fucking roster. All, all of them lost. Period. All of them lost. You ain't relatable. You a GTA crip. Who created you? <laughs> Trust him. Just hand me over the diamond, bro. We good, Jay. All right? Man, I don't know. Man, you sure? Just give me the diamonds, bro. Right here, man. Y'all see what Arsenal was up there doing to these niggas? Arsenal was like, I'm beating all three of you niggas by myself, and I put that on my daughter. He was wilding on y'all. And they not going to say it because it's going to go on the app. Nobody going to see it. Nobody going to recap it. So then they just move right on to the next card. I'm be honest right now. I'm not hating. But there ain't a single rookie that belongs on Summer Madness. Seriously. There ain't none of them. None of these niggas deserve to be on Summer Madness. If you force them on there, we'll watch. But not, not, nah, none of, no, none of these niggas deserve to be on Summer Madness. I don't care. It is what it is. Not one. There ain't one. None. Period. Which one of them deserve to be on Summer Madness more than Jerry West? Please jump in these comments and let me know. We can have a debate today, tomorrow, whenever you need to. But there ain't one that deserved to be on there more than Jerry West. There ain't one that deserved to be on there more than Danny Myers. I can name 10, 15 names that are on y'all roster that none of these niggas that battled the other day deserve to be on Summer Man this more. I know y'all gonna force one of us on us, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna force a foot or force a soul to flare on us to see. And I don't got no issue with the flare soul. I think he's pretty decent. I think he's got some bars. I think he can be all right. I just feel like he battles too much. The nigga battled two weeks ago, he's battling now. When y'all got the nigga battling again tomorrow? Did y'all think he was gonna beat Danny Myers in a fucking week and a half? Y'all just putting these niggas out there to destroy their brands, to get body bagged, and then you have to try to rebuild them up, build the bear, these niggas back up again. Why not have them battle once every two months, once every three months? No, because y'all know y'all can pick to pay them scraps. You know what? They're above, below the poverty line. You know, just call the niggas who ain't got smack number. Tell them you got 500 in a fucking La Quinta for the goddamn weekend, and they're gonna do it. But the battles don't turn out well. They're not turning out well. I don't know who's over there. I don't know who's running shit over there. I don't know who's recruiting shit over there, but this, this right here, this, bro, they're getting smoked. They are getting smoked out the building, nigga. Let me look through this shit. Chilla Jones versus Klutz. Okay, I'll do this with Klutz. Klutz has some potential. I like his pen. Believability is about a zero, and he take a little long to get to the punch. Take him like six or seven bars to get to the fucking punch. Chiller's punching out the gate. Out the gate. Out the gate. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Takes a nigga eight bars to get to a fucking good punch. I'm like, nigga, I'm lost by the time you get here. He has some decent material, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't have him beating Chiller Jones in any round. Let's not even do this. Three fucking zero. Zero. That shit that, that he told him about... <laughs> You do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. The nigga said your girl died in a Hyundai. Now you got a no. He said your girl got killed in a car crash with a white man that caused your Hyundai. Now you sell cars for the white man selling Hyundai, nigga. He that nigga body this. Cover, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm sorry. He fucking damn near bodied this nigga. But they not gonna say it because they're gonna sweep that shit under the rug. You gonna see this nigga on the next you are a card versus a crazier pen, and it's gonna make y'all niggas think that he had a good a good run. And he didn't. He got beat. But they wouldn't do this shit before. 
They gonna throw him on the next card. Who's, who's, who's another good pin? Who's a fucking another good pin? I don't know. Uh, who's a pin? The nigga battled JC already. He already got Chilla Jones. He'll be battling Danny Myers. Let's do it. Yeah. Fucking, uh, Born Supreme Gnome coming soon. Chilla Jones versus, they'll give Chilla to somebody else and it'll be Danny Myers versus Klutz and then Danny gonna 30 the nigga too. Cause there's no development here. There's zero. Y'all not developing these guys. I'm sorry. But anyway, so that's a 30. Chilla Jones got a fucking 30 ball. Don't take no rounds from Chilla. 3-0. Danny Myers versus Flair Soul. 3-0. Danny Myers. This nigga kicked his ass across the fucking street. They're not gonna tell you. I will. You know why? Because I really don't give a fuck. I don't need no tickets. I don't need no pay-per-views. I don't need no interviews. I don't need... I'm the worst. I'm the worst type of nigga. He don't need no interviews. He don't need no invites. I don't need none of your artists on my shit. I don't need nobody to come to my show. I can do this all on my own. I was, and we're going to get to that too because that messed up a lot of my relationships because I was such a great flexer. People thought I had money before I had it, but let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I once I got the Rolex and I was like, yo, this is crazy. I'm the worst type of nigga to say this shit because I'm going to say it like it is. I watched it, but I watched it via somebody else. I didn't pay for this because when Mike, Boy, Mike P and Jack Boy Man came off the card, I was like, this is not worth paying for. Seriously. So, Danny Myers, 3-0. Three, zero. three fucking zero. It's a body bag. So, you got two bodies. Two bodies. And then the top battle, which is uh, the three-on-three. Three, Arsenal, clear. Shotgun Shield, clear. Old Red Voice, Mm, it was serviceable, but his round wasn't really about nothing. So they lost overall three, six, seven, eight. Eight rounds to one. These are your guys, Pete. Eight rounds to one. And I ain't hating. It is what it is. Y'all niggas lost eight to one. Get these niggas in the locker room. Get these niggas some training and get them sitting on the bench. Because honestly, y'all would never do this. These niggas, they got them up there battling against Chilla Jones and... Danny Myers, these niggas ain't even battled the Riders of the world yet. The fucking, uh, the, the, the fucking Jerry Wests of the world. Uh, who, how many other niggas that I can name that these niggas ain't battled yet? They ain't battled the Holmesies, the Low Souls, the Kid Chaoses. They ain't even battled niggas that's right there with them. But you put them up there thinking that they gonna beat these niggas. Are you serious? Like, nah. Mm-mm. Nasty work. Nasty work. These niggas got their ass kicked across the street and they need to hear it like this because y'all not going to tell them. All you're going to do is just put them on the next car, put them on the next car, you're going to force one of them on Summer Madness. They are going to force one of these niggas on Summer Madness. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. And then y'all wonder why the fans react the way that they do. And they, I mean, they might not. I might have ruined it. This block. <laughs> they might force. I still think they're gonna force one of these niggas on Summer Madness. I just think they do. I just have a feeling like that's what's gonna happen. And we're gonna have to accept it. And I'll watch it. But none of, and another lastly, stop booking these niggas versus Danny Myers. They're not beating him. There's none of them. You don't got a nigga on here. There's nobody that was on this card, and ain't nobody that you putting on the next card that's gonna beat him. Stop doing that. Why are you putting them against Danny to get fucking embarrassed and now we here like we are? But I had to say it because who would I be to not say what I see? It is what it is. This is my third joint of the day. And the rest of all, everything's coming out. Gang, 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 it don't bang. Uh, let me think, do I got anything else? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this was bad. I watched it again last night. I had time, like, you know what I'm saying? When it first happened, I'm in and out. I seen some of the joint, I seen one, I seen this one, do, 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 do. I seen uh, the third round versus uh, Mike P. I mean, none, none, and, uh, and real deal. I seen that and I watched, I watched them all again yesterday. What? That nigga Arsenal was all in this nigga face. He was talking crazy. He threw his hat on the floor. He told this nigga, uh, he said, I'm for real, real. My coat's so white. Mike P and none, none know it's the real. I don't even want to talk no more. I'm going to leave this L, uh, you know what I'm saying, for the rookies, for the rookie team. I'm going to leave this shit propped up right here for you niggas. Uh, P, y'all got to get these niggas in line, bro. Y'all ain't in line. Because uh, this ain't that and that ain't this. I'm out of here.